car guy, so Evie is notorious for being pretty realistic, but at the same time, not realistic at all. Oh, Kryzen, can you make it a little more dramatic? Thanks mm. a lot, I'll spare you. This is because, well, when you add an emissive texture to a substance, it doesn't actually affect the substances around it, which means if you had a light bulb and you added an emission, it would the light bounces would not ray cast onto the surrounding landscape, meaning that it would not work at all. Unlike cycles, which does ray tracing and bounces the light. However, there is an easy fix, and with the onset of Blender 4.0, we can use Eevee Next, or for all of those who don't want to download an unstable beta release or alpha release, you can go ahead and download this. It's called the SSGI, so it actually makes Eevee realistic in the sense that it adds light bounces, so it fixes everything that you could think of. So I've put a link to uh, where you can download it in the description. I'm expecting that you guys know how to extract um, a RAR file. You can use WinRAR or another program. But once you've got that done, you can go ahead into your file explorer. You can find your SSGI file uh, that should be extracted into a folder. And instead of installing it like a normal plugin with a zip file, you actually have to open up their file folder and launch Blender from inside. This is a complete new version of Blender that they have forked off and they've basically integrated this EV Next into this. Now I did a few tests with the 4.0 EV Next and compared it to this SSGI and surprisingly the two perf the performance of both of them was basically the same. EV Next had a bit more uh, realism in volumetrics but other than that this SSGI is a great option for those of you who want to stick with a stable release of Blender, like 3.6. Anyways, enough of my waffling, let's get into the video. So, basically what SSGI is going to do is screen space ray tracing, as you can see right here. So, if I'm just going to turn on all of our general EV settings, and we've got those up, and I'm also going to open a file that you've just seen earlier. Um, I called it here you go so this is our file you've seen this earlier i creeped all of you out with it but uh if i go into our uh render preview mode on eevee and i turn off screen space ray tracing you can see that the monkey's eyes suzanne's eyes are glowing but everything around is dark. This bloom effect that they added to Eevee was actually to disguise this because the bloom effect makes it seem like it's bouncing in the air, but all it's really doing is just making like a red fuzz around it to kind of simulate and give a little bit of realism. Without bloom, this is actually what Eevee is rendering. That's it. Bloom just makes it look glorified. However, when I turn on this screen space ray tracing right here, if I turn that on, look it actually bounces around and that scene is now like 10 times more realistic. So if I hop out of our camera mode, you can see the whole scene is dark other than our Suzanne, which is now a little beacon. So I can add any mesh I want, even sunlights and this, and you can see that it doesn't stop the ray tracer from actually doing it. And the best thing is it doesn't come with cycle level performance issues. Like for example, with cycles, if I set this to cycles and I want it to move around in my scene, I'm going to have to wait for this obnoxious noise to clear, which just happens in seconds with Eevee. Now, of course, at a long scale, cycles is the better option, but this is a substitute for all of you guys that don't want to render with cycles and instead want to use Eevee's accessibility. Because you see, Eevee does not render the light bounces as well, even with this plugin. However, it is a much better option for those of you who don't want to witness long render times and laggy viewports, which is especially a big thing for me when I have large scenes that I just want to preview with the light bounces, but would then in the end render in cycles. But it just makes your workflow a lot better, and you can even render this in Eevee and it would look great. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I just stumbled across this. And also, we've got exciting news for you. A new Kryzen Tech Discord is dropping in a few uh, days. So keep an eye for that on the channel. I'm going to make a video on it, and I'm going to have the link in the description so you guys can join and discuss uh, all your favorite CG topics. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.